everybody, my name is Cassidy Gard, and welcome back to this week's recap of I Am Kate. This week's episode was called Take Pride, and it was episode five. What? craziness. This week's episode was one of my favorites so far. So much went down and I realized that Caitlyn Jenner just might be my spirit animal. I am going to take you through my top three favorite moments that I think perfectly embodied what this episode was all about. First up, Scott freaking Disick. Scott, you have been on my naughty list for a long, long time. I love Court. I love her dedication to her kids and I get so infuriated when I watch Keeping Up With The Kardashians and I see him pulling his shenanigans time and time again. So Scott is not one of my favorite people, however, Scott said he was going to show up, he was going to meet Kate, and guess what? He showed up. You're one of the first guys to come over, mostly all of them have been women like my buddy Jeff Dunham. He has been very supportive, but hasn't come out and actually met Caitlin. And my buddy Dean, he had no idea. What do you think from a guy's perspective? Because everybody seems to be very supportive and this and that. I don't know, it's just a guy thing. I just struggled with it. I have to applaud Scott for showing up because my least favorite person this whole entire episode was Sergio. Now, Sergio is a man that Kate formerly Bruce, used to spend a lot of time with flying helicopters. So Kate is making this huge effort to spend time with people from her past, especially the men that were her dudes, her buddies, and she wants to feel as if those people are still going to be in her life. So she invites Sergio over to her house to spend time and they're going to fly helicopters and she has a full fun play date plan. Day date. Dude date. Play date. Whatever you want to call it. That's sexy, yeah. But I didn't hear anything after that. Can you make it? It looks like this is the first time I've been stood up. He would have been here by now. So Kate decides, since Sergio did not show up to the house, that she is going to go to Sergio's shop and she is going to, you know, see him there. And she's so graceful and she doesn't even confront the fact that he stood her up. But it was so awkward. Sure. So, what have I missed? What's new? Not much. Nothing is the same. Same old, same old? Same old, same old. Well, me too. I have nothing's going with me, yeah. <laughs> I didn't feel like Sergio was on Team Kate. And that's what I didn't like about Sergio. This week's episode, once again, was all about Kate embracing her girl squad. So even though things were so awkward with Sergio, Kate still rushes back to the arms of this community that has completely embraced her, and she goes to NYC Pride, baby. Okay, so NYC, New York freaking city. I love New York so much. I lived there for four years. I don't think I ever lived anywhere that I felt more welcomed and at home and at peace. So Kate goes to one of my all-time favorite stores, like holy grail, bow down, Patricia freaking Field. And Patricia Field is iconic, she did Sex in the City, she dresses women to portray a fantasy of who you can be. So I loved the New York scene. Next, Candace Kane has a show and she hosts all of her friends and her parents and Kate goes to support. And I'm so honored and happy that she's here today. We love Jenner, we love her. like Kate is living in Malibu. She's very isolated. She has the Los Angeles paparazzi hunting her down every single day. And I think there's something really exhilarating about going to a place like New York City and just walking on the streets, putting the bodyguards off to the side, not just being in the bubble of your black SUV. Like, get out on the street, meet the people, shake hands, take selfies, meet the people that are supporting you, which is why this week's episode with Pride and Caitlyn Jenner and Candace Kane and all these women was so 
vibrant and beautiful and I mostly just completely love this episode and I can't wait to see what happens next episode. I would love to hear your thoughts. What did you think of this week's episode? Do you think that Caitlyn should still try to pursue relationships and friendships like she had with her former friends such as Sergio? Should she just say, say la vie, let it live and move on and just kind of let go of that or should she continue to keep trying as hard as she is to make those friendships follow her into her new identity as Kate. Please hit thumbs up if you love this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one and I will see you on the next one. Bye everyone!